woman who fears the Lord will herself be praised. Her children have called her most blessed. Her husband has sung her praises. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And today is the feast of St. Monica, patron saint of mothers, and also the mother herself of St. Augustine. And uh, I'm offering this Mass this evening for the intentions of our, our own sister, Rita, on this mighty occasion for her. So we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And Sister Yvonne is going to proclaim God's word for us this evening. The first reading is from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. To turn, brothers, to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and how we shall all be gathered around him. Please do not get excited too soon or alarmed by any prediction or rumor or any letter claiming to come from us, implying that the day of the Lord has already arrived. Never let anyone deceive you in this way. Through the good news that we brought, God called you so that you should share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand firm then, brothers, and keep the traditions that we taught you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has given us his love, and through his grace, such inexhaustible comfort and such sure hope, comfort you and strengthen you in everything good that you do or say. This is the word of the Lord. The response, the Lord comes to rule the earth. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The Lord, he, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. The Lord, the Lord comes to the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Response. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, 
Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who pay your tithes of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, good faith. These you should have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, straining out gnats and swallowing camels. Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who clean the outside of cup and dish and leave the inside full of extortion and intemperance. Blind Pharisee, clean the inside of cup and dish first so that the outside may become clean as well. The Gospel of the Lord. And as we reflect on the temptations of religion, we now pray. May the light of the church's social teaching inspire us to be committed to matters of justice, mercy, and faith. Lord, hear us. us. May our relationship with God in prayer inspire us to serve God in practical works of charity. Lord, hear us. us. May we be open to what we need to change in order to express the gospel message in ways more relevant to people today. Lord, hear us. us. May the joy of the gospel be clear for all to see in the way that we live. Lord, hear us. And we take a moment to pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. And we remember all who have died. We pray for those whose anniversaries are today. Frank Hamill, William Donaghy, Hugh McAnallen, and Annie McKeown. Also, we pray for Ted Cusick of Woodside Green. Uh, His funeral will be on Thursday at 11 o'clock here in St. John the Baptist. And also Jim McParland of Enniscrown Park, uh, who died today. And his funeral mass is also here at 11 o'clock on Friday. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God. Mercifully hear our prayers offered in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. (laughs) 
We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us your signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Monica, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. 
May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and poem by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of
Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. And just before the blessing, um, I know a lot of people would say that they're prone to be distracted in their prayers or distracted during Mass and all sorts of thoughts, holy and unholy, can come into our heads. And I was thinking to myself, I, the priest isn't immune to that either. And uh, at one point I was thinking of the, the most holy trinity of ladies, the presentation that I had sitting in front of me. And then it also occurred to me that maybe some of the pupils of long ago uh, might have thought that was going just a wee bit too far. Um, but we're glad to be here, glad to see so many here. And there's uh, a lavish table prepared in the pastoral centre. I've seen photographs of it, so uh, we're all invited there to share in this momentous, if not sad, occasion in many ways as well. Father Sheehan is unable to join us. He's still on his holliers, as they say. And uh, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended.